Hi class, I want to take a moment to talk about uh, DHCP or um, IP addressing uh, autocomplete revision. With that, DHCP provides you a way uh, through the computers to obtain usable, unique IP addresses and the necessary TCP IP configurations, even when no IP addresses were assigned to those machines. As long as a DHCP server or relay is available on the network segment where an initial DHCP request message is broadcast, the DHCP server service makes it easy and automatic to um, computers on a TCP IP network. Looking at that then from the administrative side, DHCP makes it easy to define and manage uh, pools of IP addresses, which Microsoft calls the scope, when referring to a set of IP addresses under the DHCP management, and a super scope then referring to a collection of IP address scopes. DHCP uh, origins lie in the earlier TCP IP application layer protocol called uh, boot P, which is used to enable diskless uh, workstations to boot remotely across the network. Basic uh, boot P and DHCP formats are entirely compatible, so by configuring the router to forward boot P, uh, it also forwards DHCP packets. Um, with that, then servers can manage one or more ranges of IP addresses. All DHCP servers uh, pr present on the same broadcast domain uh, receive requests and send back message um, that indicates a willingness to grant an IP um, lease. DHCP supports two types of address allocation, manual in which uh, the administrators directly uh, manage addresses and dynamic in which the addresses are allocated with explicit uh, leases. Many of the DHCP functions and messages relate to obtaining, renewing, releasing uh, dynamic address leases, primarily for the common, uh, client machines. When a DHCP client uh, starts, it begins the process of the DHCP discovery uh, during which the client receives an IP address and lease. In the uh, middle of the lease uh, interval, the client starts a lease renewal process to determine if it can keep the address past the lease time. If not, then the client releases its IP address and starts the discovery process uh, over again. DHCP uh, supports a wide variety of message types and options, but not uh, but only uh, message type 53, the DP, DHCP message, is mandatory for any given DHCP message. Because DHCP can carry a surprisingly large range of configuration information, it includes all kinds of network services such as email, uh, NetBIOS over TCP IP. The protocol makes uh, use of several message options. A uh, protocol analyzer is especially effective when diagnosing DHCP and DHCP uh, version 6 difficulties, particularly those related to the DHCP or DHCP v, uh, version 6 boot uh, sequence. Uh, server status information and DHCP or DHCP version 6 logs are likewise useful when troubleshooting the DHCP services. DHCP version 6 can be either used as a standalone address configura uh, configuration to the clients or in combination uh, with uh, LSAC uh, note that uh, at this time there is no provision for uh, default gateway configuration in a DHCP version 6 uh, server, but that could change in the future. DHCP version 6 operates with uh, multicast messages as there's no broadcast message in IP version 6. And then DHCP version 6 is also a completely new service compared to the uh, DHCP origins. 
I hope that gives you a good overview of uh, the use of DHCP and the differences between version 4 and version 6.